the one and only Heathcliff skills in SAO in the Grass Factor. When Awakening skills was first being introduced, this is one of the skills that people really want to get. So let's take a look at how good this skill is. One of the most unique effect on this skill is that this skill can give a buff to increase an additional damage based on the defense when we use it on switch. So we will take a look at how much the proportions between the defense and the additional damage that will be added on this skills. So let's take a look into the normal damage that we can do with these characters right now. It's doing around 1400 damage and if we use the switch the, you will get a buff that is showing up over there and that in, indicates that we get the additional damage uh, activated here and as you can see our damage here is doing around 3400 almost 3500 damage and this is based on the stats that uh, we have a defense of 2030 right here and we get a little over 2000 damage increase here let's test it a little bit further so now we are going to use the stats uh, of defense 2500 ish and let's take a look how much additional damage we get this time so the normal damage now is doing around 14,000 uh, or 1450 to 1500 and then we use the switch now it's doing 4200 uh, 4000 yeah around 4200 damage so we get around 2600 additional damage this time let's do it one last time and this time with the lower defense stats it's only 525 and let's see how much additional damage we get in this time and normal damage is doing around 1400 and when we use the switch now the normal damage is doing 2000 damage so this time we got around 600 damage increase so it looks like it's almost one point per defense per one additional damage that we get from this buff so let's take a look into this second effects here which is giving a healing of 1.3 percent hp per three seconds so it is very nice and in this situation here actually i'm using the sachi skill that will reduce the healing effects but because this is not the effects from a plants or potions we still get the full amount of healing and then we're going to look into the rush effect there where it will reduce the damage by 15 percent and let's see how useful that can be and now we're just going to let uh, fight the storm griffin chaos here and when it is using this technique it can do 49,000 damage into our characters which is a lot of damage now if we use the rust skill uh, on when we are equipping a hit cliff skills you will see the barrier buff showing up on the on our characters and when the barrier is up it will be able to reduce the damage that we get from the enemy and this time we reduce it down to 1958 from the 49,000 damage that you can get before. Well, this is actually not just from one hit cliff skill there. We were actually using two different skills uh, on top uh, for the damage reduction on top of the hit cliff skills. The first skill that we use is this Lisbeth skill that it can reduce the damage up to 45% when we use this skill on switch. And the second one is these cane shield skills here where we can reduce the damage by 36%. So in total, it should reduce the damage by 96%. As a bonus content here, we'll also take a look into this Shy Lapin Sinon skill here. It has a similar effect. It will give up additional damage according to the attack for 10 seconds. So we'll take a look into what's the conversions between the attack and the additional damage on the skills. So this test here, we utilize the 2988 attack and normal attack is doing around 1600 to 1700. So we'll say that it's doing 1700 attack. And when we use the Sinon skill here, and we'll also get that additional damage effect over there 
and now the attack is doing 4600 to 4700 damage to this enemy that is not weak to trust so let's switch the attack a little bit now we increase the attack to 6073 and do the same test again the normal attack is doing 3000 to 3100 damage as you can see in here and now when we use the xenon skills the normal attack is doing 9100 to 9200 damage so the conversion seems to be very similar that it is one attack will add one additional damage so to summarize the sword and shield hit cliff skill can give buff that seems to give one additional damage per one defense point our test shows a little higher additional damage but i think that's because of the weapon proficiency skill that increased the damage the healing and defense reductions when using the rust skill will help when we want to face tank the damage from the enemy and that's it for the video I hope you enjoy it and please leave a like, share and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Bye now.